shaking up energy <laughs> and nervous. <laughs> really tough day and I wanted to come on camera and share it with you because I know you guys struggle too and for those of you that don't know I have been working on my confidence about owning who I am and not being a people pleaser anymore not worrying about what other people think and being more myself on camera having more fun in my videos just being more me which is like you know that and being more me everywhere in life and I've made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks today because of that it was like backlash day in my head when I woke up this thing was on me it was telling me I was so stuck in my head and whatever you want to call it that the ego the head whatever the thinky thing it was telling me all day you showing your real personality, they're gonna think you're fake. They're gonna think that's not you. They're gonna think there's something wrong with you. You need to stop. You need to go back to being safe and hiding who you are. It, you know, it told me all day that I should stop filming videos and it almost got me to not film tonight. It was telling me they're gonna think that you're fake even though like, I know like I'm being so much more me and more confident and I'm loving coming on camera more where I normally get anxious. The head said don't film. It said you're never gonna grow on YouTube. Nobody cares. Stop trying to help people. All these things like the head tells you all these lies especially when you're trying to make yourself better. It makes your ego or the head very uncomfortable because it's used to you just staying safe and not challenging it and not going outside of your comfort zone. This is one thing that I've learned, for those of you that don't know, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for over six, for six years now. And the one thing that I've learned is, if you're gonna grow, it doesn't happen inside comfort zones. You have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. So it's not comfortable right now. Today was super uncomfortable. Trying to be confident, not be a people pleaser, stand up for myself, it felt so awkward. But growing does feel awkward. And so for those of you that maybe have the same confidence struggle or the people pleasing thing like I do, or if you're trying to lose weight or any struggle that you're working on to try to make yourself feel better, know that it's normal to feel weird. It's normal to feel uncomfortable. When I was losing weight, it felt very awkward because I wasn't safe anymore. I was challenging myself to go outside of the box, outside of the comfort zone. And people were always telling me, they were always doubting me, saying, oh, I doubt you're gonna do this. You're gonna go back to eating. Well, no, you have to listen to you and know that you're worth it to work through the uncomfortable. And this whole being confident and owning myself and being who I am, it's really scary and awkward, but I, owe it to myself and I love myself enough and I believe in myself enough now to keep moving forward. So no matter what the head told me all day, I was watching it tell me all of these lies and to telling me to stop, stop trying to be confident. That's so silly. I said to Kyle, like, it's telling me not to film. And he's like, they just want to see you on camera, Nicole. They want you, you help them. Just talk on camera, it doesn't matter. Cause the ego was trying to tell me that I don't have any good ideas. He's like, just tell what you're telling me right now. And he's right. I'm struggling and I'm sharing it with you because I know you struggle too. And I get asked all the time and Kyle's lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years too. We get asked, don't you guys ever get hungry? It must've been really easy for you to lose the weight or how do you not get hungry and get cravings well guess what we do today i was watching a youtube video and there was chocolate bars in it hershey's chocolate bars <laughs> and donuts i wanted that chocolate and those donuts so bad and yes i'm in a calorie deficit right now i'm hungry all the time i could eat every hour seriously like i'm i love food i'm always hungry you i want to eat I have to work through that. I have to work through what is 
the old emotional eating that I used to have, what's that piece? And what's okay? I'm hungry, but I'm losing weight, so it's normal to be in a, in a normal to be hungry in a calorie deficit, and work through that uncomfortableness that is part of growing. And yes, I get cravings, and sometimes I give myself the real cravings. Sometimes it's not time because I want to keep leaning out. I want to keep looking better and showing myself and you guys that you can love your food and look your best ever while being in a calorie deficit. What I do though is I choose foods that I can eat a lot of for low calories and loving my food really helps. Knowing that I get, you know, Smart Pop or my low calorie ice cream or French toast for breakfast, that helps me or a really cool protein bar. Knowing that I'm gonna eat good food, it helps stop me from reaching for the chocolate bar on a day where I don't really wanna have it and then every once in a while, I'll say, yeah, I am going to have a day where I let myself eat. But the problem is there's a lot of misleading information out there right now too about that where there are like really fit girls who are like size two saying that you can eat a lot and get abs. They never tell you you have to be in a calorie deficit. You have to do cardio. They'll say, oh, I intuitively eat and I just eat what I like till I'm satisfied and I'm not even hungry for dessert. And yeah, it's fine, I just don't eat dessert. From my experience, yeah, I crave dessert. I get hungry, I have cravings. I give myself what I like to the best of my ability in a calorie deficit and then occasionally I give myself treats. But I'm not gonna stand here and tell you weight loss is easy, that you can be in a calorie surplus and lose weight, that you can be fit and eat thousands of calories. No, you have to be in a deficit, you gotta do the work. It's not comfortable and it's not easy, but you are worth doing the work. There are lots of people that are telling you out there, just buy their program, eat whatever they eat and you can just look fit and have abs. No, I'm telling you it takes work, but you can do it and love your food at the same time. And you can watch the full days of eating, you can watch my meal preps and my snack stuff. I just put out tons of really good ideas. We have 10 minute meals, we, I got a date night. Go check out those videos. We also refuse to lie to you guys on the other side. There's a lot of channels that are lying to you, telling you they're eating in a calorie deficit, but for some magical reason, they're not losing weight. Yeah, and that's... We, we're not going to lie to you that way either. Just as the same so-and-sos that shall remain nameless tell you they eat in a surplus and magically they have abs. Exactly. The, and Kyle's right. There are two sides. There are the people on weight loss journeys that are saying that they're in a calorie deficit, but they're not losing weight and they're wondering why. And then there are the people that are fit girls with abs saying that they eat thousands of calories while maintaining a size two pant size. And neither of those are right. If you eat in a surplus, you will gain weight. If you eat in a deficit, you will lose weight. There are factors that affect both of those Absolutely. things. Absolutely. But if you have lots of factors like Nicole and me have, like Nicole has hormonal issues yep. that affect the, the calorie burning. So she yes. has to eat less. And I have to work harder. It's still calories in, calories out. Yes. I'm eating about 1,900 calories a day in a deficit and I have dropped 20 pounds since August. I lost actually the 20 pounds in three months and 6% body fat, eating in a deficit, doing an hour of cardio six days a week. I have to work and I have to eat in a deficit. I have to work harder because of my hormonal issues. I'm 145 pounds, but my small clothes are getting big because I'm in a deficit and I'm still losing inches. Remember, you got it. It's not an easy thing. Some people, yeah, they have great genetics. They don't have to work as hard. But if people are not telling you that you have to put in the work, you have to be in a deficit, you got to like your food. Like we know the algorithm doesn't like us because no. <laughs> we say you have the to truth. eat less to lose weight and the algorithm does not like that. There are a couple channels that tell you the truth yes. and you guys know who they are. We yeah. don't need to mention them. You also know who they are that don't. But if you look up weight loss, it's not a lot of people that have actually lost the weight without surgery and kept it off. The point of this video is, okay, don't believe or copy what you see on the internet. 
if somebody is telling you like we are, you gotta, you have to actually work through your emotional stuff. You have to address the confidence. You can't just lose weight and then think it's magically going to stay off without working on those two things, which and this, is, you know, this brings us back to Nicole's original point. If you are believing in other people's lies and then chasing their physiques, that's going to set you up to have your ego make you feel bad all day. Yes. So if you don't work on those things, if you are an emotional eater and you don't work on it, like I was, I had to work on it. If you are not confident and you're a people pleaser or you know, you don't believe in yourself as much like I did, you have to work on it. And that's what I'm doing. And I have to work every day to maintain this. And if I want to lose the little bit of belly fat that I have left, I have to keep working. I have to keep doing my cardio and keep eating in a deficit. I'm not going to stand here and tell you that, oh, I'm in a deficit, but I'm not losing weight. No, I'm in a deficit. I'm working my butt off in cardio and eating in a deficit. And I'm losing inches because I'm doing what I say. I've done it and I'm still freaking doing it. And it's not about suffering. You guys see our food. And if you haven't seen what we eat, go look at it we because just, it's not about chicken and broccoli. No, we just had a date night. Like watch the date night video. Kyle and I had a date in our house and we ate really tasty food and we ate dessert because we like dessert and we don't just in say we intuitively eat and then, oh, we're not hungry. No, we like food. <laughs> so the friends, believe in yourself enough to work. This is not going to be easy. And this is why the algorithm doesn't push us because we tell you, you have to work for it. And some of you, if you have not the greatest genetics, like myself, like Kyle, you got to work a little harder. If you have other things like medical conditions, hormonal issues like me, or medication that makes it harder for you to lose weight, you're going to have to work a little harder and you might have to eat a little less, but you can do it. You can love your food. And this is the support right here on this channel where we are being completely honest with you. Look, I'm here sharing my struggle with you. I had a crappy day and I'm doing this video because I want you guys to know it's not all butterflies and hearts, but this makes you stronger. It makes you better. And it, it makes you say to your head, you know what? Just go over there in the corner because I'm going to keep working. I believe in myself enough to do that. And we love you guys. And that's why we share the positive and the negative, our struggles, our successes. You're always going to get the truth here. If you want to know exactly what we did, we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. We have two weight loss guides down below. We ate balanced exact meals, exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes. It's all in there. Check it out. Watch these two videos. Go back and check all our food videos, snacks and meals and dates because we show you how to love your food and lose weight. <sighs> That's it. And it wouldn't be a Cola's video if I didn't do the Cola's stuff. And yes, I call myself Cola's. Watch this one that I came up with. Okay. Watch it. It says, put your bum whoa, in whoa. Hair like you just don't care. Wave it around like you just don't care. Oh yeah, baby, what over there? Yes. Kyle liked that one. <laughs> Look at my foot. Can I can I have one request? Please never rap again. That wasn't rapping. Oh, that what was that singing? Don't do whatever it was. If it was singing, don't do that again either. Put your hands in the air. Put your bum. No, no, no. It's PG. It's PG over here. We're watching date night. Put your beam in the air. Put your beam in the air like you just don't care. Wave it around and go over there. We're definitely demonetized on this one. Well, the algorithm doesn't like us anyway, so whatever. See ya. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it.